Hey guys, how are you? Happy Wednesday. So we're here in the lab and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, what you need to do after your laser treatment. One extremely important step is to make sure that you have aloe on hand. You're going to need this, okay? So here's the deal. When you get your laser treatment, whether it's a laser facial or if it's laser hair removal, you need to make sure that you have aloe on hand. It's going to be your number one product for hydration. It's gonna be your anti-inflammatory and it will be your cooling system, so to speak, after your laser treatment. You're gonna to need to put this on at least one week, day and night after your laser treatment. So before we launch into it, I want you guys to go ahead and hit this like button. Tell all your friends, follow and share. If you like the content that I'm dropping to you guys, please feel free to send DMs so I can put some more content out. And I'm happy to do some lives and answer some questions as they relate to laser and other skincare questions. So tell your friends, hit the like button, share it, follow, do what you can to get this message out. So getting back to the situation with aloe. So here's the deal guys. When you are going to buy some prepackaged aloe, say you want to get it from the store, there's a couple of things you want to look out for. So first up, you want to make sure it's organic. You want to make sure that it is 100% aloe. We don't want you buying anything that could be blended with other gel-like products. It's not going to do you any good. So you want to make sure you're getting the real thing. So look on the label, make sure it says 100% aloe. Look on the A label, make sure it says organic. Look on the label, make sure it says cold pressed. That is the number one way for you to make sure that you have real aloe in your hands, okay? So that's what you're gonna look for when you're going shopping. A lot of stores have it. You can get them from Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, um, Amazon has it. Again, just look for those three things. Organic, 100% aloe, and cold pressed, okay? Now, if you're fortunate enough to live near a store or um, a grocery store or a plant store that sells the aloe plant or aloe leaves, that's the best way to go about this thing. So I'm pretty lucky enough I have a supermarket right by where I live that sells the actual aloe leaf. And it's pretty cheap. It's like a $1.50 or something for one huge aloe leaf. So here's a piece that I have that I brought from home that I you know, use myself whenever I have laser done. And um, it's so easy for you to go ahead and get this into a gel. Let me show you really quick. Once you have the aloe leaf, what you're gonna do is just go ahead and slice a piece off. Let me turn you guys so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. You wanna slice a piece off, and then once you have that piece sliced, go ahead and cut it right down the middle so you can open those two ends of the aloe leaf up. And here you go. There's the aloe gel right there waiting for you. It's so good. This is definitely organic. It's definitely nothing but aloe here. Once you have that open, go ahead and take yourself a spoon and just scrape that right into your little container. And you know, you can use a glass container, you can use a plastic container. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. But as you can see, it's going right in there so easy. And this is the aloe gel right here. That's it. Once you have everything scraped off from two sides of the leaf and you have it in your container, like you can get a lot out of a piece of aloe leaf, first of all. Go ahead and put that in your container and then put it in the refrigerator. That's the best way for this to last a really long time. And now you have your aloe gel ready to go. And again, once you have your laser treatment, you're gonna to wanna to need to put on this aloe gel day and night for at least a week, okay? It's gonna be the best product to hydrate the area, anti-inflammatory and a coolant. So if you have any other questions as it relates to laser, please let me know. I'm gonna keep coming in and dropping some of these nuggets um, so you guys can get through your laser process a lot easier. Take a look at some of the stories we've already posted. We've got some amazing specials going on for Halloween season and we do have Saturday hours this week open so go ahead and book your appointment you could click the link in the bio and um, you can book your appointment in for your laser treatment again the special is going to be applied to both laser facials and also laser hair removal if you guys have any questions let me know hey guys oh wow thanks for joining how you doing queen with jewels oh cindy how you doing tony hey dmix kitchen what's up 
thank you guys for joining. And if you have questions or concerns as it relates to laser, you know, I've focused a lot um, the last few days on laser hair removal. I want to make sure that everybody has all the information that they need so they can have a nice successful treatment, especially when you're investing in those packages. You want to make sure that you get the best bang for your buck. Tomorrow, I'm going to pop on here again, and we're going to talk about um, different hair color, hair type, as it relates to laser treatment, what you should expect and all that good stuff. Because everybody's hair is not the same. All come in different colors and different textures. So I know that's been a lot of questions I've gotten recently on DM. I'm going to come in tomorrow and talk about that, okay? Send more questions. Love answering them. Talk to you guys later, and happy Wednesday.